Uh, let's jump into another SEC game right quick. Who, uh, brother, Arkansas 31, Mississippi State 28. And I, I mean, this it, state had so many opportunities to win this ball game. And I, I, <laughs> I told you the other day it was going to be a field goal ball game. I didn't know that it would take state missing three field goals for it to be a field goal ball game. But that's what it turned into. And that's, that's, the whole point of this game, right? State law or state missed three field goals. Arkansas only missed one. Leach announced after the game that they they're hosting open tryouts in Starkville for a damn kicker. And state outgained Arkansas by a full yard per play. They ran more plays, uh, but four of their drives that got inside the Arkansas forty ended with zero points. And you cannot do that and expect to win a game on the road against a good team. And that's what Arkansas is. That's a good team. So as a good I, team, they're not a great team. They're a good team. This is this is at some point in time you got to stop blaming the field goal kicker because you should not be settling for field goals. Right. That's it. Like Will Rogers is good enough to get you into the red zone consistently. They have been piss poor all year once they get into the red zone. It's really weird. One of the best defensive teams they played all year is Kentucky, and once they got in the red zone, they punched it in every damn time. But they play these other teams that aren't great defensively. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. But once Mississippi State gets in the red zone against those teams, it's almost like their offense completely falls apart, and they just settle for field goals. They're like, we're in field goal range. We'll just take the three, and we don't care. You got to stop living that way. Gary, you talk about this all the time. It's like these guys get in situations where they think, oh, well, we can always depend on a field goal, so we just stop playing football. We're going to talk about like, that with Scott Frost in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Like, why? Why are you stop playing football? Get, get into the end zone. What? What is stymieing you about this over and over and over again? If it's the talent at the quarterback position, now I don't want to crap on Will too much because he's been better. But Will I was brought good. this up when I picked Arkansas. He's a damn yo-yo. This whole football team is a yo-yo. They go up and they go down, and then they go up and then they go down. I picked against them this week, lost by the hook, but it was simply because I don't trust them two weeks in a row. Yeah, yeah. I mean, bottom line, you look at the stats in this game, State probably should have won the ball game. I just, and now, it, it, the post-game win expectancy, which, again, whatever, it said Arkansas 65%. I don't know that I believe that based on the fact that State missed three field goals, had multiple opportunities, to to win the game. Like, I, bottom line, they had a kick at the end of the game that was not a hard field goal, and they missed it. Kerry Lewis said, Arky, like a box of chocolates. He said they're wildly entertaining. Uh, Leach offense struggles in red zone. Out West college football fans already know that. Yeah, no, they do because the, the field shrinks in that position. So, yeah, it's tough to score. Uh, and if you don't have a running game. Well, even, what's even crazy harder. is last week, that's what they did. When they got into the red zone against Kentucky, they ran the ball four straight times, and they punched it in all four times, 28 points. I kind of thought he's realized this is how I got to play. I used my, my, my spread offense, my West Coast offense, you know, th- this air raid to get us there, and then we lean on the backs to get it in the, in the end zone. And, and I thought, man, that's a game plan that could, could last them a while and, and, and could do, do a lot of good for them. They completely went away from it. They didn't run the ball at all when they got into the red zone against uh, Arkansas. They didn't run it successfully at all. Yeah. Nate Burka jumped in and talked about uh, the Roadrunner team consistently showing out. Hard to go undefeated under any circumstances. That's true. Double O'Neill said Cincinnati versus UTSA New Year's game. Consolation prize for both teams. If they do that to those two teams, that will be an absolute sham and a joke, and they should be ashamed of themselves. Cincinnati uh, deserves. First off, they have no. They, they're already a joke, and yeah. secondly, they have the reason they're a joke is because they have no shame, and it would not surprise me one bit that that's what they would do. Yeah, no, I, I could, I could see it. I could totally see it. Modest Cowboy E said, "Does Texas finish five and seven in Sark's first year?" I've got that towards the end of our list here to go over. Yeah, I think I don't think Texas is very good. It's just not a very good football team right now. I, I never expected them to not go bowling though. I I tend to agree with you, but like, does I think it surprise it's, it's me? obviously on the table right now, though. Right? Oh, yes. Obviously on I mean, the table. The reason the question is being asked is because we're all kind of thinking it, and and he was the first one to, to, to say it. Yeah. No, you, you're right about that. Let's move on. I'm, I'm going to hit on two teams that 
uh, kind of struggled yesterday. We, <laughs> Elvin said, since everybody sucks, who gets ranked where? That I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just as curious as anybody on Tuesday. I would imagine it just kind of stays the same, except Michigan State took an L. They'll be bumped out. But I, I think everybody just kind of stays. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.